Um, God bless you today. Um, this is uh, Reverend Rudy Henry, where he who saves one life saves the rules ministries. Um, I want to tell you right now, never give up today. Never give up hope. Never give up faith. Believe in the Lord Jesus and what he promised you. Believe in the word of God. What the Holy Spirit has said to you is true. It will surely come to pass. God's word is our only guaranteed. Yeah. What God said it, he'll do it. Um, I don't care what you're going through. I, it may be a... I don't care what you're going through. I mean, your back may be against the wall. It may be dark. You may be in a valley. Amen. I don't know. Maybe you're suffering some kind of physical malady or ailment or you're going through it, something in your mind or your, or your emotions or in your family or in your relationships and your calling or in your prayer life. I want to tell you, never give up. Yeah. Jesus loves you. He will bring you out. He will turn it around in Jesus' name. I speak a word of life to you as a man of God. Never give up, my beloved. God can do anything. Uh, maybe you, you know, maybe, maybe you want your wife back or your husband back. Maybe you, maybe you know, you need your finances or um, maybe you're bound and Jesus Christ can break you free today but don't ever give up keep keep calling on the name of jesus uh keep on living keep on believing god for your miracle or your miracles you know sometimes we need more than one there's been times i've needed more than one miracle more than once yeah i'm gonna tell you you might just need that one miracle god will give it to you maybe you maybe you need some breakthroughs and surely God will give you that breakthrough today. Amen. Um, surely God can. He said, I'm the Lord God. Is there anything too hard for me? My friends, there's nothing too hard for God. Uh, he spoke the world into existence. He's the living God. He's the God of the universe. All things are possible. Mark 10, 27, Ephesians 3, 20. Unto him who can do exceedingly and abundantly above all we ask or think. To the power, but I want to say, don't you ever give up. Maybe it's in your mind, maybe it's in your soul, maybe it's in your home and your relationship. Don't give up. I remember I had a friend, he wanted to see his mom, and he would come to revival and weep and cry and had the same request. And it came to pass. I, I mean, God answered that prayer. God will do it for you, my beloved. Yeah. God is a loving God. He's a compassionate God. He may not do it um, when you want him to. He may not do it how you want him to. I mean, we've heard all heard the testimonies. I mean, God has his ways and God has his timing. But keep on pressing through. Oh, my Lord Jesus Christ. Keep on believing God. Keep on praying and, and praying. And um, keep on giving and keep on doing um um, the things of the Lord. But I just want to keep on believing God for your miracles and breakthrough today. Surely in Jesus' name, it shall come to pass. I'm going to pray that you get your breakthrough in a while. But I sense this in my spirit today. Um, I don't care what people are telling you. That's what you're believing God for. Um, the Bible says, if you have faith as a grain of a mustard seed. You know, the, the Bible says, the Lord is my shepherd. And keep on believing God. Don't let nobody sway you. If that's what God is telling you, that's what he's prophesying to you or promising you or speaking to you, and that's what he's revealing to you, don't ever give up. Keep on keeping on until it comes to pass. In Jesus' name, amen. Uh, maybe it's, I would think about the woman with the issue of blood, and she just kept on pressing through, and, you know, she, she who knows, it probably were thousands in that street today, and she laid hold. He said, I perceive the power of God came out of Jesus Christ. He said, daughter, be of good cheer. Your faith has made you whole. Amen. Now keep on pressing through the violent taken by force. Keep on praising God and worshiping God and speaking God's word and doing God's word. Lay it all to the altar, my friend, in Jesus' name. Our God is faithful. He hasn't forgotten you. Surely he will bring it to pass. Um. In Jesus' name, Reverend Rudy Henry here, for he who saves one life saves the rules ministries. I'm for you. 
I'm not against God is for you. He is not against you. He wants you to have it more than you want you want it. Yeah. The Bible says that. He says it in the word. He says this, if you if you call on me, call upon me and I will answer you and, and show you and show you great and mighty things that you don't know. Jeremiah 33 and 3. Oh my God wants to do it for you. And it surely will if you just don't faint. It says, we'll reap not if we faint not. You shall reap if you don't faint now. Ask God to give you, don't faint. <laughs> Amen. Keep on praying it through in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, I want to say this. I'm going to pray for your breakthrough. But ask Jesus Christ to breathe on you. Ask Jesus Christ to, oh my God, ask him to visit you today. Yeah. I don't care what people say. Hey, you know, um, I heard Rob Parsley say that. He said it may not be your peas, but when it's your peas, <laughs> he used to always say that. Amen. It's your life. It's your kids. It's your calling. It's your home. It's your family. It's your body. It's your mind. And if it means... If God cares for you. Keep on keeping on for Jesus Christ today. Amen. I'm going to pray for you. I pray right now in the name of Jesus that you receive your breakthroughs or your miracles in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak life to you. God, meet that need in Jesus' name. Visit them in Jesus' name. Give them whatsoever they will in Jesus' name. I agree with you. In Jesus' name, I don't think you're crazy. Neither does God. I'm going to believe God for what you, what is on your heart today. In Jesus' name, clear up their finances, Lord. Clear up their home and ministry and body and mind. In the name of Jesus, I, I agree with you in Jesus' name. I loose the resurrected power of Christ in Jesus' name to restore you and heal you and prosper you and make you whole in Jesus name. Amen. Your mistake doesn't mark out your your miracle. Amen. He'll turn your mess into a message. That's the kind of I like what the three Hebrew children said. They said even if he don't. <laughs> yeah. You know. And he still and he's still God. God is faithful. He going to do it for you. Amen. In the name of Jesus, I speak that in Jesus' name, that you will have a praise report, and you shall have some praise reports in Jesus' name. And if you want, go ahead and email me and say, man of God, God did it for me. And if you don't, just give God the glory. I loose miracle sign. I loose the breakthrough in Jesus' name. I command you to be free and to receive from Christ the Lord in Jesus' name. I'm standing on the word of God. Amen. He's the living waters. He's the bread of life. Thank God for Jesus Christ. Blessed be God forever. Amen. All you need is a, you know, it, and it doesn't take much because God doesn't fail. He loves you today. Yeah, he wants to get, he will give you that breakthrough. I don't know how many times I have my back against the wall and God has come through for me. Amen. Don't ever give up. Amen. Continue to praise God and worship God and keep on praying until you see it. Amen. Jesus prayed three times. Three times our Lord and Savior prayed in the Garden of Gethsemane. He prayed three times in that garden. My Lord, until the angel of the Lord strengthened him, and he took the cross. Yeah. You're going to have to pray it through. Yeah. Pray all night. Pray in the morning. and Pray in the afternoon. Pray jogging. Pray walking the dog. Pray in the bathroom. Prophesy in the bus. Yeah, I have, That's what I do, shoot, in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Get some faith alive. Yeah. Amen. I'm on your side, and I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that you will faint not until you receive that miracle from God in Jesus' name. Today, I pray for you to be healed in Jesus' name, prosper in Jesus' name, that your relationships and your ministry would do extraordinary in the name of Jesus Christ today. I loose it upon you. In Jesus' name. I just want to be a blessing of the Lord Jesus. 
because I know what God has done for me. And that's what he called the apostles and prophets and evangelists to do, to give God's people some good news. You know, the, the gospel means good news. He says, how beautiful the feet of those who bring the good news. Yeah, I'm here to bring you some good news. I pray you watch my video so you can get some good news in you. Yeah, God love you today and he will forgive you and he will strengthen you and he'll give you the breakthrough. And my God, answer your prayer in Jesus name. This is Reverend Rudy Henry here. Well, he who saves my life, saves those ministries. I bless you in the name of Jesus. You have a wonderful evening. I will continue to pray for you. Oh, my God, the best is yet to come. I'm going to make a whole bunch of goodness and mercy videos. Keep on tuning in. God bless you in Jesus' name. The sun will rise. The rain is coming in Jesus' name. The rain is coming.